Hmm? Maybe I'll just start rolling them so I'm like rolling them when the show starts. I think it'd be awesome. Okay. This is it. Maybe I go. Come on to show that we're getting ready. See, there's the beginning. This is On Time Cookie with Haley Schnell, episode number 21. Today we are with Maestro John Dash Dixon. Hi. Sure. I'm doing good, thank you for asking. Bernadette Brown, how are you doing? I'm doing so good tonight, thanks. Very good. I'm excited to introduce our special guest today, Katrina. She's a female bodybuilder. How are you, Katrina? All right, and as well, Hayley Schnell, how are you doing? Hayley? I am doing fabulous. How are you doing? Very good. I'm excited to see what you're cooking for our guest, Katrina, here. Awesome. I'm excited, too. It's going to be a great episode. I can already tell. Yes. Excellent. Enjoy, guys. All right. All right. So tonight, we are going to be doing um, more like an appetizer special, I guess you could call it. I'm going to be doing something called, I call them flatbreads, better known as pizza. But I'm going to do three kind of non-traditional flavors. We're not using any red sauce tonight. And we also have some awesome sponsors. We have Code Rum. So yes. I'm going to be bringing back my bartending days and showing yeah. you how to make really easy, simple, delicious uh, mojitos. The first thing I want to do, though, for mojitos is you can make your own simple syrup really, really easy. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and turn on my stove top and I'm gonna add equal parts water and sugar. We're just gonna let this come to a boil and then simmer and it will be ready by the time we're ready to make those drinks. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that started right away. I have my um, oven preheated and that is preheated to 425. I'm gonna go ahead. It just sounds see. really good. It's a stir. I was already rolling out some dough just because we have a lot to do tonight because I wanted to make a variety um, I have just store-bought dough. This makes it really, really simple. And also, you can just um, let it sit out for about 30 minutes before you want to let it rise so it's ready to roll out and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my pizza pans. Well, we already have some visitors with us. But first of all, we do want to um, go ahead and greet Katrina. We are so happy you're here. Thank you. So Hello. we need to know a little bit more about you. So you are a bodybuilder. Yes, I um, compete um, here and there. Wow. I'm a, what they call a figure competitor, not the true big bodybuilder, but okay. it's a couple levels down where you're a little muscular, a little still a little feminine. Oh, I like that. I like that. Yeah, that's great. And, and, you know, you get to wear the cute suit. Oh and you get to wear the heels. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, cool. makes it fun. that's so, fun. That's fun. That's fun. That's my hobby. So, when did you start? I mean, how um, did you? I've been working out for. Since I was 19, I won't say how long that was. Yeah, we don't know. That was. Since she was 19, that's but, good. But um, I've been competing for about two years. Oh my gosh, so you have to love it. I do. I, I love it. You I live have it. to I love, love it. it. I love yes. it. That's great. So, nutrition and food is really nutrition. important to you. Oh, nutrition is key. Perfect. 
to perfect her. perfect well we're so glad you're here and Haley well, thank she's you. gonna cook us so good today but you. she's gonna treat us with something toward the end too yeah. so so I'm just That's rolling exciting. out some of this gel I'm gonna get this nice and thin I like a little bit more of a crispy uh, crust when I'm doing the appetizers this is great to do for um like parties and barbecues because like I said, for a lot of my recipes, they're very easy to customize mm -hmm. and you can make a lot of different flavors at one time. Go ahead and just brush this out. So is this another I was with mom kind of no, meal? No, actually, <laughs> actually um, I just have always loved flatbreads as appetizers when I've gone out to different restaurants. Yeah. And one of these I had, I never had roasted cauliflower on um, mm. a pizza before until I moved wow. to Florida weird but um it was so good i was like mm, i Sounds could probably so, do it better so oh i like that <laughs> so, thought that's oh so God. good i just started i love that thought I'm that's so good, good. i go love ahead it and just put this on my pan as well what about you bernadette Me? you are oh my gosh we we made homemade pizzas you can call them flatbreads they call them flatbreads today but you know, More like I mean, a trendy way to call in them, In Italy, right? and pizza did not start in Italy, by the way. Mm -hmm. So they were actually called pies, you know. So oh, the thinner the crust, pie. the better. Pie. And they would put all the fillings inside and the two oh, crusts together. Marvelous. Oh, I know, doesn't it? Yeah, it's just so good. It doesn't matter what you put in it. We put whatever you wanted exactly. in it. Exactly. It was all good. All Delicious. Right. This a simple syrup is coming to a boil. So once it comes to a boil, we're just going to turn the heat way down and let it simmer. What about you? Have you ever had flatbread? See, Dash is always so yeah, we need to, we need, to, we need to ask him. <laughs> have you? Yeah, I had to. Oh, I had to. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. But it was good. Yeah, because of bread. Flat. flat. <laughs> I can't with this. This is so good. This is so good. <laughs> okay. Dash is always coming in strong with those one liners. Doesn't it? It's perfect. That's right. That's perfect. All yes. right. So I'm just rolling this one out. Nice. Yay. So and we are have some great visitors here, so we're excited. Who do we have? Do we have well, any questions so far? Uh, no questions so far. So, you know, we're just going to kind of hope we start. Ooh, look at you rolling that dough, too. I'll tell you. <laughs> All right. She's good at that. Oh, you, my I gosh, can, you are. I'd still be rolling. I'd still so be rolling. So I was going mean, to did you ever make? No, like, I, have, oh. I have not. I have not. I've eaten a lot. Nice. Yeah, but I haven't made I've it. I've eaten a lot of it. I love that. That's so, <laughs> but I haven't made it. That's so great. Great. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down. So the first one that we are gonna put together is going to be our roasted cauliflower. So for the base, I am just gonna do some olive oil, garlic, and Parmesan cheese. So I'm just gonna mix this up in a little bowl. We have your mom here. Hello, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. My number one supporter. I'm gonna do oh, she is. a little bit of oregano. It's always good. I miss her when, when I don't you know, see her here. Yay. Oh, bartending skills. You have bartending skills? Yeah, tonight, I, bart darling? I bartended for a while oh. in college. Um, I really did. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> yes. So, I mean, it, you learn a lot about alcohol and drinks, so who doesn't love that? Sounds like fun. Yeah. Okay, that's right. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this down and I'm just going to go ahead and place this as my sauce almost on this pizza bread dough, oh, whatever hey, you Christopher. want. Hey Christopher. Okay, so we have Christopher Corbell's here. I'm going to go ahead. Well, let's see. Tell us where you're from. Yes. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a little layer. What's up, Bonnie? I'm gonna go ahead and did put someone just come in here? <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh I'm gonna go ahead and put a layer of Parmesan oh cheese. Hi. And yeah. then I already have some roasted cauliflower that I had roasted earlier. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay this down on my flatbread. And then we're gonna do another layer of cheese. And I'm gonna pop Whoa, it in my onion. Please, or in my onion. In the oven. <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay. So <laughs> 
Let me go ahead and add a little bit more cheese. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some fresh mozzarella. Top it with a little bit more oregano. Pop this one in right away. Oh, oh my so oregano. Right. Right. That, look, yes. it, doesn't that look good? And it's pretty. It oh, like, looks yes. good. You know? So I have to ask you, being a bodybuilder, do you have like designated cheat days? Ah, I do. That's a good one. How strict I do, you? and here's the thing. It, it should be more like cheat meal. Okay. And Whoa. not a day. That's a good way to think about oh, it. However, Whoa. I don't always stick to the plan. Oh, there it's you go. It's very difficult once you start cheating. I can understand. Yep. You kind of go off the cliff. I uh -huh. do. Uh-huh. But yeah, there are designated times. And so you I don't do it whole day? You just do time? Ah. That's the secret. Way to think oh, about it. That's the secret. Mm -hmm. oh. You have to. There's no way you cannot. I know, cause you. Have. Yeah. yeah. I was. Good stuff. And actually, I think your body responds better when you eat clean, 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 and you kind of soak it with that. Yeah. Some sugar, the fats, cheap. and then you go back to clean. Mm. Your body tends to respond. You know, I, I just read something about that, about like balancing it's a, that ratio and balancing mm -hmm. it out, and your body responds yes. better. Yes. Oh, oh that about that. So this next one that I'm doing Ooh, is a barbecue it. chicken. So I'm doing barbecue sauce as the base, mm -hmm. and then what I'm gonna do? Ooh, go ahead and put that in there. So what I'm gonna do then is add some rotisserie chicken. You can make your own chicken with, you know, just grilling it. If you want to just cook it on your stove top, you can. Using a rotisserie makes it really, really easy. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and just spread some of that bite-sized rotisserie chicken around. I'm going to put some fresh pineapple. Oh, ah. now that sounds really good. Is that like a Hawaiian? Yeah, and I like to put my toppings down first and put the cheese on top. I feel like it keeps everything I, really I moist. Agree. And I feel like it just can't kind of um, agree. locks everything yep. in almost. Sure does. I'm going to go in with some Parmesan. And then I'm going to top this with cilantro, but I'm not going to put the cilantro on oh, until after. It's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. And then I'm also going to top it with some red onion. Ah, sounds fabulous. Just a, a little a little cheating um, fun fact that we have here about flatbread. Um, you probably can all figure this out, but the first flatbread actually was baked on a fire-heated rock. Of course, like so you can stuff. pretty much imagine how long ago that might have been. Maybe about five thousand years. You but know, sometimes and so the forth. old way, I feel like, is the best way. I know. So you're gonna do it on a heated rock. <laughs> I mean, hey, haven't you ever cooked on a heated a stove? stove? It's like it's see, it goes the right same back. Thing. Exactly. That's it. That's it. We just also want to ask our dear followers that are with us all the time and the ones that are here for the first time, we have a donation link actually on our website on time cooking. We'll take any kind of donations, and that includes cookware, food, cash, whatever you want to donate to us, we would love it. Um, again, please, followers, go ahead and visit On Time Cooking and follow our donation link and just show us how much you love us and you want us on here. So thank you all. And I'm going to actually roll this one out just a little bit more. I just want this one a little bit thinner. So you never made awesome. these ever, right? Can you that? No. I think you might go well, ahead and do it. <laughs> so easy too, because they usually sell the dough pre-made, like in the deli section uh -huh. at your grocery store. So yes, that's right. You know, you can make, you can fool everybody into thinking that. Enslaved. Absolutely. <laughs> that's right. Exactly. Exactly. Right. I've been here all day. Dude. So the next one I'm gonna do is gonna be a caprese style. Um, Pizza. So I'm gonna use pesto as the base actually, instead of a bread sauce. So and I'm gonna... Haley, I'm here to tell you that you're at the 17 minute mark right now. It's gonna okay. be a close call. Yeah, dear. We have Julie here. We have Caitlin here too. Um, Alex tells me pineapple is does not belong on a pizza. Don't oh, want to eat it. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> We want pineapple. <laughs> definitely we belongs won't. on a pizza. All done. I get in this argument all the time. <laughs> yes. Pineapple is delicious. It belongs on everything. So everything, everything right? Do you agree? Yeah, put it in a salad. Yep. That's right. You're right. All right. And then Absolutely. I am just doing some fresh tomato slices. Oh, yes. Yeah. Or like Anything, a grilled chicken right? sandwich, <laughs> right? Yeah. 
anything. So let us know in the comments below. Do you think that pineapple belongs on pizza? What do you think, Bernadette? Me? I think a pizza is very personal. It's wherever your tastes are, whatever sometimes your needs You're are, to be too. Correct. It's what I'm serious. It's it's very it's personal. Right. It, that's why they call them personal pan pizzas, I guess. <laughs> right? <laughs> but they are very personal. You know, it's what you preserve. Me, I'm good with it. I'm good with it. And pineapple and chicken are perfect together. I love So you then I'm just layering on some fresh mozzarella. Some slices just kind of all around. This is more of like a traditional style. When I was in Italy, this is kind of how they mm -hmm. they eat it. They just kind of do the big chunks and Absolutely they don't do correct. anything else like any correct. of the, the shredded mm. cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this last one in the oven. Oh, it smells so good. Right. See, that's what we always say. It always smells. We want smell a vision or Beautiful. something here. It smells so good in here. So all of your viewers, all our viewers right now, if you want to chime in with a question for Haley or any of us, please do, because we're very willing to try to get you an answer. We are almost at the halfway mark, so if any of you are visiting us that you did before, you know what happens at the 15-minute mark. Oh no, this last one's not going to fit. <laughs> we'll eat it. <laughs> Let me see we'll if I can it. put this one on a smaller pan. We'll take it. Again, Let's this is live see. TV. That's why we have so much fun. So much fun. Hmm. Is this one smaller? Nope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we might be having we'll a donation of a larger <laughs> oven. <laughs> right, let's see if this will work. Well, we'll give this thing a try. I don't really know what it is, but it's a little bit small. Sure. <laughs> Oh gosh. Yes, I think we have someone coming in to oh, visit us here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Kim. There you go, you can ask. I'll just pawn off my problems Perfect. to Vaughn. Perfect. Just the man I needed to see. Hey. How what? can I fit this pizza in your oven? What? <laughs> because <laughs> I can't fit this last <laughs> one in. It's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a question. <laughs> yeah. Can you fit? Hello, Robbie. What is this? <laughs> This one that I use on yeah, the cauliflower. Yeah, All right. Oh, that's so Ooh, good. Oh, Master Vaughn. Oh, Tara, you're from <laughs> Naples. Tara, welcome from Naples. Wow. Hey, I got something different for you. Okay. The question is, uh -uh. what kind of cooking show is this on time cooking? People have been asking. What? I would say it's like a Rachel Ray meets a chopped. So it's kind of like. 30, like she does 30 minute Time. meals, but some of her mm -hmm. stuff is kind of prepped, but it's kind of like chopped because it's live and you don't really know what else is going to happen or you're going to find stuff that doesn't fit into the oven, you know what I mean? So I would say yeah. it's kind of like, that's how I, I would describe it is, it's like a chopped meets Rachel Ray, 30 minute meals. I don't know, how would you describe it, Bernadette? Well, we do have Monster, Master, sorry, did I say Monster, I'm sorry, uh, master, <laughs> master Chef here, um, and we, we do have some like live little trivia and skits once in a while, so we are entertaining as well as learning new recipes and having good friends, good friends and good food, right? That's it, basically we are the best of its kind, one of oh. a kind. There you go. Anyways, I let you go. Uh, shoot me some sponsor and my intro. Give me some of those cool tunes, please. Yeah. All righty. Do our sponsors? Yes, uh, we have some awesome sponsors tonight. We have our Code Rum, which is absolutely delicious. And I'm so excited for our next segment because we're going to get to do a bartending segment so I can teach you how to make yes. some delicious drinks at home from the comfort of your home. And the cold rum really just gives it that extra, mm, gives it that special kind of taste. It does. And we also have a, a, a wonderful little happening having here locally in our Tarpon Springs area. Our director, Vaughn Boulevard Reed, is next week, Wednesday through Saturday. He's going to be at the Tarpon Arts Theater. He actually was chosen to be a director. Um, they're directing um, one act plays, about 10 of them. So this is another um, talent of his. He has many. So again, next week, if you're in Tarpon, go to the Arts Theater Wednesday through Saturday, and you will see our master chef, I'll correct myself, um, Vaughn, and he will be directing one act plays there. So that's another good thing. Fun, right? So thank you all. Let's listen to some 
fabulous music right now. Because we are going to get started with our yeah. alcoholic section. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with our mojito. So mojitos are super fun because I feel like they're really refreshing and you can add a lot of fresh ingredients to really make it kind of special, unique, personalize it, but they're not super complicated. So I have some strawberries and raspberries. So the first thing that I want to do with any mojito is we're going to start with um, our base, which is going to be some lime juice. I have some simple syrup. If you don't have simple syrup at home, you can go ahead and mm -hmm. just use sugar. And then you're going to have mint. Um, but I think I need some help making these mojitos. You need help making... Uh, do think, we have a bartender need, anywhere near here? I think we have a pirate. A pirate? <laughs> and I think a pirate. Oh, right oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh boy. I love it. I love it. So, we are going to be it. making I love mojitos. Do you like a mojito? So great. What are the three main ingredients in a mojito? <laughs> I don't know what I'm making. I mean, it's lime because I like lime. Well, you know, I, I'm going to teach you. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm ready. So great. So, so the first honest. thing I like to start off with is some fresh lime juice. This is going to kind of help everything get muddled together. I'm going to start in a plastic cup just because I don't want to break any glass tonight. I like the fact that we get to use the term muddle. Muddle? I'm not really sure what that means. You're gonna mash. You're gonna mash, mash a bunch of stuff in the bottom. So then I'm gonna take a couple <laughs> of mint uh, leaves. I'm gonna put that in there. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of simple syrup. So it's pretty much just sugar and water. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this into my mixture. And then I'm gonna take some fresh strawberry and I'm gonna add a couple raspberries. And now we're gonna muddle this all together. So we're just going to kind of mash it because this is going to release that mint flavor and also get a really nice color to the drink, but also infuse it with that strawberry and raspberry. Kind of have it all blend together. Is that the alcohol? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a coffee. Mate. That's it. I'm That's making all. you a drink, but oh, you got to make me I'll one. I'm going to make one of these too. Oh. All right. So we just kind of have all that muddled up. It kind of looks a little bit crazy. So then I want to go ahead and take a glass <laughs> and add. Nice the the I know. So I'm going to add about half the ice. And then I want to go ahead and add that concoction in there. I want to go ahead and add some more ice. It's seven minutes right now, Haley. So, all right. Mr. Bartender, <laughs> taking notes. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a shot of mango rum. Or two. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on how experienced of a drinker you are. Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> or you can just do a two or a three count. I mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> or you know, your preference. I'm gonna go ahead and add this is actually um, mango rum. So we're gonna be doing a strawberry raspberry mango mojito. Oh, yeah. Sounds great. Do you want a little bit more? 
I love honesty, though. What I do about two shots? That's really great. Have you ever had mojitos? Yes. So oh, really she cheap. said that so oh, quickly. Uh, <laughs> and then I'm going to yes. go ahead. Okay. Some <laughs> You're going to enjoy this, then. Yeah. It goes great with the pizza. Well, that's different. Ah, sparkling. It wasn't prepared for that. For the Tonic club soda? Yeah. I have club soda. That'll make it summery refreshing here. Exactly. We've got six minutes. How's our pizza? I know. We gotta check it. Just give me one second. I'm gonna go ahead and get our pizza. Okay. He's gonna grab that. <laughs> Cheers. All right. They need about two Cheers. more minutes. One of them, they're bubbling up, but they're gonna set when they get out. Yeah. Hey, I wasn't done yet. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> and, and then you wanna oh garnish God. it and make it look really pretty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. So sorry. Oh my golly. I'm not done. Everybody is cramping my style right now. <laughs> All right. So pretty. Does that look good? Mm, nice. Very pretty. Just sitting out there. Yes. You can just do a couple cool slices. Breeze. Okay. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not breeze, finished. I'm breathing. I think we need a picture. It's not cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, if you're gonna taste it, can you at least tell me if you like it? Wow. That was perfect. <laughs> Perfect. You gotta try it. Oh, you got a ha ha for that one, Vaughn. <laughs> you guys can share it. It can be like a really romantic so moment. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh. Romantic moment. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> um, okay then. Oh my god. <laughs> we'll go. We'll finish well, the show. Then. You guys can go oh. now. We'll finish the show. <laughs> Might as well. We're fine. Hey. Getting sloshed for Bailey. Um. <laughs> That was kind of like the what's that Disney movie where the the lady in the tramp where they're oh, eating yeah, the, was that the spaghetti <laughs> thing for drinkers. Uh, wait, you know that one definitely was not Do planned. I have to do I mean, I can make a refill. All right, I'm gonna take one of these pizzas. Out. We're at four minutes, by the way, a little over four out. minutes. So we're gonna. Get that pizza one. out here now that we got the comedy out. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Anyone have any ratings? Remember, we always ask you from uh, zero to five, but I'm going to say three to five, to rate um, our dishes tonight. Um, the mojito's gone, so you don't have to rate that. Um, <laughs> but, but our dishes that Haley is uh, making tonight, if anyone wants to shoot us ratings, please let us know. Okay. Zero to five, we'll take those. It's serious. All right, I'm gonna let those oh, other hello, two cook Mary. a little bit longer. All right. Well, I mean, I kind of wanted to here. try it. Dash says hi, Mary. I mean, it is pretty delicious. I can't even lie. I'm gonna leave this out because I'm sure I'll be making this for the crew after hours. <laughs> I think the pirate needs to show me the instructions since that was You should know how to make it. So Mr. Strictly. Pirate from Code Rum, right? <laughs> All right, so I just want to get some toppings ready for this pizza. About how much time do I have? Oh, my God. You are at three minutes and okay. counting. I so I was... <laughs> I have to drive home, pirate, okay? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get some fresh basil, add some fresh cilantro, I like to add some greens on top of the pizza just to keep it kind of lively and fresh looking. So I have Thank a you, one that is already done. So this we cauliflower flatbread. I'm gonna go ahead. I don't know, but I'm good. And look I'm at good. how pretty this turned I got out. That's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Look at that dough. Wow. Wow. That's see how perfect. perfect. Exactly. So what I want to do is I just want to go ahead and cool. slice this baby up. Mm. Let's see if it is a pizza slicer. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. A big knife. A big yeah, knife. you can do it that way. Okay. Ooh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start giving this bake. What I want my make your plate. Let's exactly. plate it a little bit here because you are at. Uh, two minutes twenty right now, and you did get a four already, by the way. So from who? You are rated from Brooke. Who's oh, hating? Who that? That no, it's a female Brooke. 
Four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody's being really yeah. salty over there. <laughs> or happy, I don't know. I'm gonna We're just go sure. ahead and I'm gonna put a little bit of oregano on this one. Just top it with a little bit of oregano. You have a little bit of olive oil? Yes, I do. So maybe brush a little bit on the edges of the, of the crust. And All right. sprinkle a little bit of sea salt on that crust. Oh, good call, yep. Brenda. That a little bit of olive oil around the crust. You got a minute? minute I got 30. a minute. I don't know if I have time for all of that. I just want to go ahead and move this over. A little bit of salt around that. And man, olive oil is I don't live without it. I panic when I'm low. It is. It's good. Healthy Omega. Mm -hmm. So we are. So anything you know else you want to? Uh, or do you have a show? Or do you have competition coming up in the fall? Then. Um, I'm hoping in the fall. All right. Maybe for the fall. Good. Good. So, yeah. So Fun. hopefully in the next four months, maybe three and a half four Fun. months. Fun. Okay. I'm gonna like it. So and you I'll let us know. know. Let us know. And anybody wants know. to see an um, uh, awesome person here and doing some competition here, we'll let you know when. And then we can come see you and cheer you on. And then we'll come eat. <laughs> then we'll come eat. Right. <laughs> sure. <laughs> You know what? I think that I am gonna go ahead and plate this one and let the other ones You're cook. Right. Forty-two minutes. So yeah. Forty-two minutes. Yes, ma'am. Forty-two minutes or seconds. Seconds. <laughs> seconds. Oh, sorry. We know what you meant. I was what? like, I was like being so good. I was on the eating part. He is it's gonna come in, and my stuff is well. Some of my stuff isn't gonna yeah. be ready in time, so I'm gonna just you know plate this like it's a little appetizer. I'll make him a drink, and then there I'll give him the other two. You're, you're done. That's perfect. Because right. we are at the. 15 second mark and actually we have Johnny Ringo is here he's from Code Rum he owns Code Rum so, so this will be um, glad he's here. round one round one here we go that's it pizza, <laughs> pizza. we've got more coming but you know where it's gonna come in rounds so so what we gotta get chicken parmesan? No, this is a roasted cauliflower and eating these sometimes because I'm like, you know, what I'm gonna do it. You're cheating. So cute. I know that's why I've got the other ones bacon. Yes. I needed to give you something to eat though in the meantime. Yes! But I can make you a really delicious drink. It's not bad. The drink was really good. The drink was good. really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. It was a quick it's one good. too. I like it. You like the cauliflower oh, one? Nice. Nice. It's taking a. You know, I think I, I should. I think I would pay. Oh. Uh oh. Here it goes. Twelve ninety nine. It was well done. If it was well done, <laughs> I know I'm letting it cook. Okay. <laughs> so. Oh my gosh. Bye. Here's the pizza. <laughs> Originality five. Okay. <laughs> He's still on the mojito part, no. I think. Takes his four. But what no. about the drink? Five. So that got that has to yeah. factor in. Overall rating is four point seventy five. That's right. Okay, I'll take That's it, I'll right. take it. <laughs> That's right. All right, Helen, close the show. Beautiful. All righty. Well, I still have those other flatbreads to cook in. I'm sorry, I did not finish this week everything on time, but we will be posting pictures of how it turned out. So definitely mm -hmm. check our uh, social media. Oh. <laughs> oh, he wanted to do that all the time. So um, check our social media page. I almost just got egg in the face. But um, <laughs> give us a thumbs up. Make sure that you tune in next week, Wednesday. We appreciate Code Rum so very much yes. for sponsoring this awesome, yes. boozy episode. And um, definitely interact with us. Give us a thumbs up again, and thank you so much. We'll see you next Wednesday at 10 p.m. Thank on you, Time bye. Cooking. Good night. <laughs> bye. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. It's so bad I broke it. <laughs> Feathers flying or some like weird. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna pop this one back in there. Oh, you never want to smash it. Oh, because I'm looking at all this. Okay. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, that's so funny. Oh my gosh.